Hello everybody, this is David Law for the History of Cinema assignment. I am doing Les Miserables, or Les Miserables, or however you pronounce it, with Hugh Jackman as my non-American acting choice. And because we don't have a lot of time, let's just jump right in. We start with Hugh having gone through many rejections for jobs or housing as he wanders through France. He has been rejected by society for the simple crime of stealing bread. He spends days trying to find a safe place to rest and finds it in a church. Right as Hugh is falling asleep, the priest comes in and wakes him up and invites him inside. Hugh is uncertain but hopeful. Maybe this man will help me, he thinks to himself. I'm going to stop here for a minute because we got to talk about beats. Beats are moment-to-moment -moment actions wherein an actor decides what to do in a moment. It's an action or a tactic. It's kind of, they're basically one and the same, but they're technically not, but they are. Anyways, he plays the beat to recognize the flame and then to warm himself. I'm not entirely used to using verbs to describe actions because I don't really speak that way, but I'll do my best. He looks back at the priest as the priest heads into the dining hall and offers bread and wine to Hugh. And upon seeing the food laid out before him, Hugh ravenously consumes it. While the priest prays over the meal, to his surprise, Hugh hears the priest bless him and call him an honored guest. We're going to take a moment here to notice that he addresses and ponders the priest's actions. After dinner, Hugh heads to bed and sees his sister placing the silver plates and items in a cabinet. Hugh then turns, the scene lightens up to show the gold. Hugh contemplates what to do and fears the future. This causes him to get up and rush to the cabinet as the sister sleeps. He looks back at her as she sleeps. Bag full, he runs out and scrambles away, noisily dropping and retrieving the plate that fell out. The next morning, he was dragged in by the guards, or soldiers, I have no idea. The guards present the sack full of treasure to the priest. We have your silver. We caught this man red-handed. Get the nerve to say you gave him this. That is right. But my friend, you left so early. Surely something slipped your mind. You forgot. I gave these also. Would you leave the best behind? Taken back this by the sheer generosity of the priest, Hugh ponders the situation with remorse I and maybe a bit of wonder and hope. Duty. Now God's blessing go with you. But remember this, my brother. See in this some higher plan. You must use this precious silver to become. Hugh sees that this sack of silver, man. given to him by the priest, by is a second chance at life and a second chance to become an honest man. Hugh, still pondering, wonders at the priest's generosity. And the gravity of the situation hits him as the priest gives him his blessing one last time. Thank you for watching. I hope that I did well enough on this that I get some kind of grade better than an F. I would have added more. But five minutes is rather limiting, so I hope this is enough. Thank you for watching again.